Okay, everyone. I'm so excited about this new mold that I have. It's an Easter egg or egg. It'll have to be for Easter. But anyway, we're getting right into this. You can see that I am uh, decorating it already. And I have turned this thing inside out. And that is how I'm going to put on the mica powder so all these pretty details will show. Okay, let's get started and have some fun. For our egg, we're going to be using two part epoxy. I'm going to mix this up and then I'm going to put some glitter and some more mica powder and fill this egg up. Now to demold. I know this egg is going to be very, very interesting to demold. So give me a few minutes or seconds or whatever, because it looks like it's going to be pretty tough. And as I figured, it has been tough, but oh my gosh, look at this. We're going to demold the other half, put our little cute decorative top on, and finish this thing.
going to put these pretty crystals on this. They have a flat back and they also come with a sticky tape to the back. So all you have to do is press it on and it'll stay. And if it doesn't, go ahead and add a little bit of glue. Now we're going to be working on an insert I want to put into this decorative egg. It's just going to be a cute little Easter bunny with a little stand and a few little eggs on it. I think it'd be really pretty when you open this egg up, look inside, and you can pull this cute decorative piece out. <music> Okay, I'm going to add some two-part epoxy, some white mica powder, and some cornstarch. This is going to be all mixed together, and this will be for the body of the bunny. Now we're just going to put some two-part epoxy into these egg molds. This is an old Sophie and Toffee mold that I use all the time. I'm just going to put some clear two-part epoxy in there and add some dry flowers and let this all dry overnight. <music> This is another egg that I went ahead and did just to show you how pretty. Whatever color you choose, you're not going to make a mistake with this mold. And instead of putting cute little crystals on, I'm just going to put some little bitty white flowers around this just to give it a little bit of a delicate touch. <music> Okay, let's demold our bunny. We're going to glue him down or her, whatever you prefer, to our base and add those pretty eggs and some dried flowers. Okay, I added a hinge to the back so it keeps it together, and I'm really proud of this egg. It is so cute, and I don't know. I enjoy this project a lot. That's how come I had to make two, this one and then the other egg, but I also enjoyed making the bunny insert that goes into whichever egg. You can put them in either or. The colors will just go with anything. Isn't he cute? Look at the little bunny rabbit. I love him or her. Let's give it some air time all on its own. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Cute, cute, cute bunny rabbit. Anyway, thank y'all so much for joining me today and watching my video on my channel. I appreciate each and every one of y'all so much. Goodbye. <laughs>